ग्रेट सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द लेसन लिक्विड मेशरमेंट्स द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ लिक्विड्स दैट यू ब्रिंग फ्रॉम द शॉप आर फील्ड इन बॉटल्स ऑफ वेरियस साइजेस द क्वांटिटी ऑफ लिक्विड कंटेन इन ईच बॉटल हैज बीन एक्सप्रेस इन मिल लीटर्स और इन लीटर्स Milliliters and liters are used to measure the quantity of liquids. Now remember, children, measuring small quantity of liquids, milliliters are used. Examples: Oddiclon, syrup, fruit juice. I'll give you, show you some examples. You can see the small quantity of liquids. right now when measuring large quantity of liquids liters are used fuel used in the vehicles water in the water tank so we used liters because it's a large quantity right children now please turn to page 60 Two activity one is for homework. You don't want to copy this. You can write the answer in the given column, right? They have asked you to write which unit used to measure this quantity. Tell the first one: household water consumption, liters or milliliters. You know we use large amount of quantity, so you have to write liters. Okay, children. Now you can do the rest. Relationship between the units used to measure amounts of liquids. Now I am going to explain. You should remember the one liter equals thousand milliliters. This is very important. One liter equals thousand milliliters. Now to have thousand milliliters. Now when you add five hundred milliliters plus five hundred milliliters, it is equal to thousand milliliters. Thousand milliliters means one liter, right? Two hundred fifty milliliters. Two hundred fifty milliliters. Two hundred fifty milliliters. Two hundred fifty milliliters. You have taken. For two hundred and fifty milliliters, when you add everything, it is equal to thousand milliliters. It means how many two hundred and fifties? For two hundred and fifties, it is equal to thousand milliliters. It means one liter. Right. Next, two hundred milliliters plus two hundred milliliters plus two hundred milliliters plus two hundred milliliters plus two hundred milliliters. How many two hundreds I have taken? One, two, three, four, five. It means it is equal to when you add up all the two hundred milliliters, thousand milliliters. It means one liter. Then I have taken hundred milliliters. How many times? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many times? Ten times. When I add hundred milliliters, ten times it is equal to thousand milliliters. It means one liter. Right. Again, I am going to explain. Five hundred milliliters. When you take twice, multiply by two, it is equal to thousand milliliters. It means one liter. Two hundred and fifty milliliters multiplied by four, it is equal to thousand milliliters. Equals one liter. Two hundred milliliters multiplied by five, equal thousand milliliters. Equal one liter. Hundred milliliters multiplied by ten. Thousand milliliters, one liter. Please remember this, right? Okay. Turn to page sixty-four, children. Taking liquid measurements expressed in liters in terms of milliliters. So liters, 
I am going to convert into milliliters. You know the relationship. 1 liter equals 1000 milliliters. 2 liters equal 2000 milliliters. 3 liters equal 3000 milliliters. Now I am going to show you some examples. Right? Okay. Page 64. Right? Liters, when you convert it to milliliters, you multiply by 1000. Why do you multiply by 1000? You know 1 liter has 1000 milliliters. So 2 multiplied by 1000, 2000. 3 multiplied by 1000, 3000. That's the way we got the answer. Now example 1. 12 liters, you have to convert into milliliters. So 12 multiplied by 1000. You know 1, 2, 3. There are 3 zeros. 12 multiplied by 1, 12. Then you add three zeros. 12,000 milliliters. What did we do? Liters we convert into milliliters. The second example. 1 liter 200 milliliters you have to convert into milliliters. 1 liter equal 1000 milliliters. This 200 they have already given. So you write milliliters. 1000 milliliters plus 200 milliliters when you add it is equal to 1200 milliliters. Right. Third example, 4 liters and 85 milliliters you have to convert into milliliters. 4 liters convert into milliliters you have to multiply by 1000. Why do you multiply by 1000? Liters you are going to convert into milliliters. Then you get 4000 milliliters. 85 they have given you write. This is the way you have to write. 1s and 10s. Then your answer will be 4085 milliliters. Right. Now, page 65, exercise 16.1 for homework. Right. But I am going to explain the first one. Example 1 liter 500 milliliters they have given quantity of water to be measured second column size of the vessel used to measure the quantity third column number of times the measuring vessel needs to be used right now the first one 1 liter 500 milliliters now 1 liter 500 milliliters you have to convert into milliliters when you convert it to milliliters you get 1500 milliliters how did you get this 1 liter 1000 milliliters plus 500 milliliters 1500 milliliters what is the size of the vessel you are taking it's a 500 milliliters so, 1500 milliliters divide by 500. You can cut these two zeros. 1, 2, 3. Okay. Then you get 15. 15 divide by 5. 5 times 3, 15. How many times your number, number of times you are measuring the vessel needs to be used? How many times? 3 times. Right. Page 65. Question number one, you have to do this for homework. Then the question number two, for homework. Right. Putting liquid measurements expressed in milliliters in terms of liters. Children, milliliters when you want to convert into liters, you have to divide by thousand. Now they have given 1000 milliliters. When you divide by 1000, you get 1 liter. Again, 2000 milliliters. When you divide by 1000, you get 2 liter. Right. Example 1. I'm going to explain example 1. Now, 2750 milliliters, you have to write in liters and milliliters. 2000 milliliters equals 
2 liters then the balance will be 750 so 2 liters and 750 milliliters right did you understand children okay now page 66 exercise 16.2 Question number one, question number two for homework. Right. Now, adding liquid measurements. I am going to explain. It's very easy, right? Please follow the instructions. Adding liquid measurements. Right. I am going to explain. Page 67, question number 1. Exercise 16.3. I am going to explain first question. Now they have given in milliliters. 350 milliliters and 250 milliliters. You have to add them. Now 0 plus 0, 0. 5 plus 5, 10. Balance 1, 2 plus 3, 5, 5 plus 1, 6. So 600 milliliters. It's easy. Then, question number 2 for homework. Question number 3 for homework. 4 for homework. Now turn to page 68. Question number 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 for homework. Question number 10 I am going to explain. Six liters, four hundred and twenty five milliliters, twelve liters, seven hundred and fifty five milliliters, nine hundred and ninety five milliliters. Now we are going to add five plus five, ten, ten plus five, fifteen, balance one, nine plus one, ten, ten plus five, fifteen, fifteen plus two, seventeen, balance one, nine plus one. 10, 10 plus 7, 17, 17 plus 4, 21. Here you get 2175 milliliters. So you can't write more than 1000 here. Then you have to subtract 2000. 2000 milliliters. When you subtract, you get 175 milliliters. You write 175 under milliliter column then the 2000 milliliters equals to 2 liters now we'll add 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 2 10 balance 1 1 plus 1 2 so your answer will be 20 liters and 175 milliliters right children now Question number 2, 3, 4 for homework. Now I explain how to add liquid measurements. Next day I will explain page 68 subtracting a liquid measurement from a given liquid measurements next day i'm going to explain that chapter right okay children